in South Florida, and the storm surge has already started along Florida's Gulf Coast. A live look now from Florida. You can see what people are dealing with, how strong Milton is ahead of the landfall. Powerful winds already whipping central and south Florida. Tonight, we have live team coverage for you from Georgia's response to last minute preparations underway in Florida. We begin with Leah Waldman live in Tampa with the final warnings ahead of Milton. And as we go to Leah here, you can see the conditions behind her. The time her. to evacuate has come and gone. If you're in the path of this storm, it's time to hunker down. The rain hasn't stopped here in Tampa. You can see the flooding has already started. It's over our boots. The conditions are deteriorating. We're losing visuals across the bay as Hurricane Milton starts to head towards Florida. This is it, folks. Hurricane Milton's outer bands are lashing the Florida Gulf Coast, and it only gets worse from here. It'll keep picking up hour after hour. You will be on your own. Other state officials echoing the same ominous tone. When you figure it out, like, hey, I shouldn't be here. Hey, I need help, and help's not coming. It's going to take us hours, uh, if not days, to be able to come to you. Final calls for preparations and evacuations switch midday to ones of try to stay alive. Make sure you have a life preserver handy. Make sure that you have plenty of um, uh, supplies with you because you may be stuck in your home. Milton's winds are whipping up tornadoes with at least two spotted Wednesday in Hendry and Broward counties. No matter where you are, you will experience the power of this storm. Despite the catastrophic forecasts, some storm veterans are staying put on barrier islands. If we were to lose a pylon and the house wasn't sturdy, that scares me the most. But not scared enough to leave. We certainly fear the storms and the hurricanes. We just choose to ride it out. As the evening hours approach, the wait begins for what's on the other side. FEMA is ready. We have hundreds of state search and rescue personnel embedded in the potential impact sites. Godspeed to all of us that are in the path of this storm. There's four bridges that go over the Tampa Bay, all four closed because of the winds that are already whipping us here in Tampa. We're expecting 10 to 15 inches of rain on top of a life-threatening storm surge. In Tampa, Florida, I'm Lee Waldman reporting. Let's take a live look.